Welcome, everybody. Uh, it is my first time uh, to be talking into a webinar, and uh, I have to say I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, it's almost like uh, when you have a big service to do and uh, you want to make sure that your line is all ready, you know, it's like you got all your ingredients. Well, I hope uh, that I have all the right ingredients to uh, get your attention tonight, and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy uh, this time that we're going to spend together. Uh, my name is Chef Fatilio Borra. I am uh, originally from the south of Italy. I was born in that part of the hill of Italy, in Brindisi to be exact, and that's where I started to uh, learn, you know, a little bit of the tricks of my old grandma and my mom as they were cooking. I did move in the north, I went to school, cooking school and everything else, I, and I started to travel in Europe, uh, in Belgium, uh, especially where I had uh, um, a longtime friend that had a restaurant, so I moved up there. Um, when I finished my high school, I was already in the United States, and uh, in late Charles, Louisiana, and that's I probably sometimes, as I speak, uh, some of the Louisiana words or some, some of that slang accent may come out, so I apologize for that right away. Uh, um, in Louisiana, uh, that was like my uh, very introduction into the uh, culinary world, into the restaurant world, and especially in understanding uh, uh, how uh, this kind of uh, um, food could be, um, 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 how can I say, received from a different culture that was mine. I was I was used to my Italian food, uh, as uh, all the Italians that are uh, here listening to us tonight. You know, the same of uh, uh, food cooked in a different way, but mainly traditional things. And uh, and um, when when you come to the United States in a city like like Charles, especially, uh, you don't have an open market. Uh, you don't have a, pl a place uh, where you could go buy uh, uh, the, the 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 fresh things from your friends and things like that. So anyway, all these things started to make me understand this culture and to understand why some things needed to change. Um, and as I moved along and as I developed some of my recipes, I developed some of my uh, specialties, uh, I also uh, started to understand that us as Italy, uh, for as much as we adore and uh, food is part of our culture, uh, most of the ingredients that we have that didn't belong to us, they were all brought to us. So why Italy makes special what it is? So to answer uh, very briefly and to introduce the main argument of this evening, which is talking about uh, how can we use several kind of ingredients for um, plates that are not strictly Italian, but they can be also uh, ethnic uh, cuisine or so. Uh, I have prepared a little bit, uh, a little introduction. So I hope you won't get bored, uh, it will be, uh, very easy to uh, see because it's I'm going to be sharing my screen right now. Uh, so here we go. So um, this is uh, from Italy with love. Now, the question I asked you was, um, why Italy is special? Okay, well, there are 100, as you can see, there are 194 countries in the world and, and Italy occupies 0.5% of the surface, but this particular kind of location uh, is very unique. In fact, uh, you can see that uh, it's completely surrounded by the sea, and uh, the sea wind, uh, the sea winds meets the mountain, and all this creates. Uh, so many different kind of microclimates, so much biodiversity that that's why when the first tomato was brought to Italy uh, and the plant was planted in the Emilia Romagna region, which is up north, and another one was planted in Sicily, two different kinds of tomatoes came up. And, the, and that's why the, this microclimate are so important. And that's why also, for example, the basil that comes from India. Uh, when the plant was put in Liguria, which is the little brown on the, on the top left uh, uh, part of Italy that you see uh, that makes an arch, that the region of Liguria where the pesto comes from, but it only comes from, from one particular kind of basil. And we can uh, put on uh, so many other products like the prosciutto crudo that comes from San Daniele in the north, uh, eastern part of Italy, or the uh, prosciutto of Parma that comes from uh, uh, the Emilia-Romagna region, as well as the Parmigiano and the balsamic vinegar, of course. And by the way, I didn't put these examples uh, of food there just uh, as an example, but among uh, these products, I just mentioned to you the first five products among 10 of the best-selling made in Italy products that there is. And this goes beyond uh, fashion or even design 
kind. So uh, food uh, it, for Italy is very, very important. Moving along, um, as um, so th this is very, very few numbers, but to, to uh, make you understand, 140 different kind of wheat crops, um, uh, 7,000 different kind of vegetables, uh, all these kind of numbers are actually true numbers. Um, and uh, they all create what it is, this kind of microclimates, different microclimates, more than 30 microclimates that for a region that is so small like us, for sure, uh, it's an impressive number. Now, even the traditional agri-food products, which is something that uh, we are going to uh, be discussing a little bit in introducing you to the certification pr uh, part, uh, has a, 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 um, a recognition. And this is actually something that uh, we are very proud of. Uh, consider that there are, uh, as you can see, more than 5,000 typical Italian products. And just Campania, which is the red region right here where Naples is, has 515 registers. So imagine how uh, uh, vast uh, and how different all the products there are. Um, these, <clears throat> now we, we, we're going to what uh, a little bit this uh, um, uh, webinar is about. Um, these three things that you say, these uh, symbols that you see here are very important because there are most of the symbols that you can find in uh, uh, the original Italian product. When you buy a product that says product of Italy, it doesn't mean that is a product that was fully made in Italy, or it doesn't mean that it comes from one particular region. Uh, olive oil, for example, if you buy olive oil, a product of Italy, uh, it means that it can be an olive that comes from Sicily, as well as it comes from Tuscany, as well as it comes from any other region. It doesn't have a monocultivar, so it doesn't have the particular organolactic features that an extra virgin olive oil should have. And who got news how, how they actually, the meal actually made that oil. So I'm not degrading the oil, but if he has the IGP, for example, IGP means uh, um, uh, uh, indication, pr protecting in uh, geographical indication, which means that that particular uh, oil was made in the area, in that hill of Tuscany, and at least one of the process of the whole production was in that particular area. And that's why if you see this symbol, that means that that particular Tuscany oil actually comes from Tuscany. Maybe not all the oil olives are monocultivar, but they come from that particular region. So, you know, it gives a certification. The second one, and it's even most important, is the DOP. The DOP is, uh, oh, and by the way, the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the IGP is uh, something that the European Union give to all the products. So even an olive oil from Spain must have this. So but I'm not talking about uh, product of Italy in general, uh, 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 specifically. I'm talking about products of all Europe in general, because this is something that is attributed by the European uh, Union. But Italy is has even more strict rules regarding uh, how the vegetables should be treated and how the meat should be butchered and so on and so on. And so they introduce what is the, the protected designation of origin. Now, if I tell you that this is a Brunello di Montalcino wine, it must be DOP or DOCG in this case for the wine, because it must be certified that everything from start to end, it is totally made in the Moltancino area, in the Moltancino Hill. The same thing goes for all of the other products. So as you can see, 578 products have this and uh, 408 are wines. That's because, I mean, uh, it's one of the, the, the highest products that we export and it's one of the things that uh, uh, bring us uh, even more uh, proud of to, to export. And I'm sure that all of you knows the wine, so I'm not gonna be talking about that much anymore. Uh, last thing that you can see, and especially if you're going uh, on by and you can see this on the menus of, of uh, um, some places, some restaurants, is the uh, Specialità Tradizionale Garantita. It's nothing else that that particular dish, that particular things like the Napolitano pizza or the traditional matriciana or any kind of uh, pasta like the carbonara. For example, if you go in a restaurant that has that, that means that that is the place that they use local ingredients 
to do this particular kind of uh, uh, guaranteed uh, uh, thing. So uh, why did I tell you all this and why uh, are we talking about these products? Uh, because <clears throat> as I was telling you at the beginning, I've noticed that uh, uh, when I came to the United States, the, um, the food uh, industry was perceived uh, in a different way. And there was a lot of ethnicity mixed to it. And especially a lot of restaurants had to change their menu to meet the needs of their clients. Uh, and sometimes to do that, uh, not only is there risk in the activity, but it's also a risk because you don't know if you are gonna be able to actually do and perform well. So um, considering the fact that nowadays we live in, a, in, a, in an era that uh, you can just pick up a phone and get uh, any kind of information on everything that you, you want to know. There's one thing, though, that you don't know. Where does that piece of meat come from? Where does this pea that I'm eating comes from? Where does this piece of carrot comes from? So how do we trace the food and how are we certain that the food that we eat and we serve uh, to our clients is actually something that is uh, uh, high quality. So that's where the USPCA, together, uh, Larry and I have been uh, talking for many, many months. Uh, and um, about a year ago, uh, we all met uh, through Clubhouse when we were all in lockdown. And uh, <clears throat> we started you know, saying, you know, it would be nice uh, that the fact that uh, personal chefs is actually one great chance, which is the chance to talk to your clients when you cook, something that a restaurant, it's very rare uh, that, that they can do. Uh, the rhythms is different, the timings are different, and especially uh, you have time also to uh, converse with them and to speak with them. And, and this gives you the chance to give you that storytelling that clients that wants to hire a personal chef deserve in a sort of way to know because it's part of the meal. It's part of the experience that we actually proposing to them. Well, I'm not just bringing you the best Jamaican, Asian, Italian, Japanese food to your home. No, I'm bringing you the experience that goes with that food because I can tell you a story on that particular piece of tomato that I'm putting on your plate or that particular kind of a, um, a sauce or whatever. So to do all this with Larry, we started to uh, search these kind of producers and see what story was behind them and uh, you know, uh, uh, trying to get things that were unique, but especially products that were not only uh, binded to be uh, for Italian cuisine. They needed to be used for all kinds of uh, cuisine that uh, any chef can cook. And so um, we came out with a list of products and we're very happy that in the future you will uh, uh, see maybe my face a couple of more times just so that I, maybe I can introduce them to you, but especially I can answer all of your questions uh, because we have selected some products that are condiments, mainly condiments. And uh, this is nothing, that, uh, nothing else that uh, um, products that will help us give uh, our clients a little higher edge uh, in uh, what we're serving to them. Um, so I'm going to stop right now for a second to see if uh, anybody has any questions because I've been talking a long time. So I'm going to get me a sip of water. In the meantime, if you guys have any questions about everything else that I said, please, you're welcome. Any questions either in the Q&A or the chat? Karen looking like Larry. Let's see. I don't see any right now, Chef, so I would say Okay. continue. All right. Um, so what kind of products uh, are we uh, introducing? As I said, products that it can be used uh, for any kind of, uh, okay, I say Lynn has a question. Let's, let's move on with Lynn and, and then I'll move on. I see the question, no, no, no. What's the question, Lynn? Can type it. Uh, based on the comment that I see on Elizabeth, I just like to take advantage to say, um, I'm not, oh, I'm on, not comparing. That's coming. That's coming. Okay. Ready to get wonderful olive oil. That's coming. But I'll let you uh, uh, off. address <laughs> uh, I, I was going to say, um, I'm not comparing 
Italian producers with any other producers in the world. I'm not comparing any products. Uh, if you do, like Elizabeth, uh, has a chance to have a, a local market and uh, know the guy, and so then you know what kind of product you're taking as far as fresh vegetables or any kind of meats or whatever, absolutely fine. That's great. It's, um, you know, it, it's uh, uh, the things that we, we should do as a, a chefs 101, okay? So that's, that's something absolutely I encourage but let's say that you have to uh um to do a um i don't know sushi or maybe a steak uh or or let's say uh, let's put up a menu okay let's put up a, a three course menu uh, you have an appetizer uh like maybe a little salad uh, with a little cheese um then you have maybe uh, a, a pasta dish uh they can be of any sort or maybe you have a, a, a chinese ravioli um, or the dumplings or whatever something that is like more of a, a not too meaty uh, and then as a main course you can have let's say that you have a steak a ribeye okay so this is the three course meal that you have to do um let's start with the appetizer um if you have an asian a cuisine and with the appetizer you want to do some sort of i don't know sashimi or you want to do a salad uh, or put some cheese on it that doesn't tell that doesn't mean that even though it's an asian cuisine you cannot use it couple of drops of balsamic vinegar on your um, a, a salad to go with the cheese. Or if you just wanted to do some charcuterie, which means that you have like three, four, five different kinds of cheeses, then that doesn't mean that you can have um, products like uh, uh, different kinds of jellies or honey uh, or truffle honey or products that are mainly meant to be um, paired with cheese tasting um so this can be just the appetizer as far as the dumpling the same thing um you can have a a dumpling or a dish of pasta or you can have any other thing that can go with any of these condiments including that beautiful olive oil that we were just talking about and uh, you can even use it to cook with so <clears throat> excuse me that doesn't mean that any of these products have to be uh the main product we say there are condiments so you can actually put them together if you have a meat imagine your nice ribeye on a bed of arugula and then uh, you just lay on top some uh, balsamic glaze uh, to give that flavor uh, or a truffle sauce or a uh, you can have a, a crostini uh, made with a, a truffle cream um, but wait a minute I'm not talking about the truffle cream I'm not talking about the glaze I'm not talking about the truffle sauce that you find at Publix or or, or any other supermarket that you have okay no or Costco or whatever no, I'm talking about something that uh, is certified made with real truffle with no uh, kind of chemicals or anything like that. And that what that's when uh, where the USPCA comes in. The USPCA wants to give you the opportunity not only to um, uh, have an option when it comes to purchase products for any kind of meal that you have to do. But at the same time, uh, it will certify this product because they are carefully selected, they're constantly monitored with uh, uh, their producers, but especially they are IGP or DOP. So they're all going to be absolutely certified uh, that those are monocultivar products or they come from that particular uh, region. Again, um, they can be used for any kind of cooking, any kind of uh, um, different kind of cuisine and different kind of plate. Uh, um, any kind of ideas of recipes that you have, uh, I can uh, give you some inputs. But just to give you a, a little peek, uh, I can show you uh, some of these products. For example, let me... There you go. Let me share the screen again. Okay, as I was telling you, um, <clears throat> this, for example, we're talking about artichokes and olives. We have pesto. Uh, there's going to be black truffle sauce, uh, uh, porcini mushroom pate, white truffle sauce. And also, please make sure that you notice the uh, percentages because they are actually high percentages, like this 60% porcini pate. That's a uh, true porcini mushrooms 
or uh, the sun-dried tomato with spicy sauce. Imagine to have this uh, sliced up and put on top of maybe a, a tuna tartare, or maybe if you can want to put it on top of any other appetizer like a crostini or uh, any other fish like a little squid or on a shrimp. Uh, all of these can be absolutely used as condiments. The same thing goes for the jellies, lemoncello jellies, apricot and orange, which is a little sweet, you can use that for the dessert. But imagine like some uh, charcuterie I was telling you with a uh, honey balsamic vinegar and walnuts or honey and chili pepper or honey and white tr and truffles um, or even one that I like very much, orange, ginger and onion. I do love onion gems. I do make my own and I have to say this is a, a, absolutely amazing. And of course, then you have all the certified Certified, literally certified, and you can tell that from the shape of the bottle because that is the only way that you are certified that this is a DOP 12 years or even 25 years old age uh, balsamic vinegar with all the different kind of glazes and all the different kind of vinegars. Now, these have all exclusively decide, these producers have exclusively decided to go with the USPCA. So none of these products will ever be in any kind of supermarket of any sort or any kind of gastronomical places or whatever. These are all exclusive to uh, what the um, USPCA uh, has. Um, any, <clears throat> okay, uh, I use organic and no GMO or hormones and antibiotics only. Okay, very good. I am glad to hear um, Mr. Busconi, Chef Busconi, thank you very much for your question. Um, these are organic products. Um, for example, the oil uh, that we were just talking about, uh, uh, that is an organic oil. And with that, all the certification and all the uh, natural and value aspect of that oil uh, go with the certification uh, when the oil is actually uh, uh, across the border. So you will definitely uh, have um, a guarantee 100% that what you're buying is completely free. We were talking about uh, the fact that Italy has like a, a more than 240 different kind of wheat crops. Well, consider that we have ancient Greek, uh, ancient wheat that do not even need uh, to be uh, treated because they're already with no gluten. And uh, um, the pasta that we have has a very low percentage of gluten, but at the same time, we can also get access to that particular kind of a flour just so that uh, we can uh, satisfy anybody else's needs too. Um, all kinds of different aspects, especially regarding healthy, the health. Uh, the health is very important. We're talking about something that uh, uh, is so, um, uh, it seems today as one of the main thing. When I go to the restaurant and eat, uh, I want to, first of all, feel the experience. Second of all, I definitely want to eat some good food, but I wanted it to satisfy also my body, not just my stomach, and something that is tasty, something that gives my palate a reason to keep wanting to chew in and, and, and wanted to uh, drink that wine because the flavors makes me, you know, think and dream. And that's what we want our client. That's exactly the kind of face and the same uh, sensation that we want our client. I've been tasting this on a lot of American tourists here that come to here in Italy. And I promise you, I mean, they're like, oh my God, this is the best of this. This is the best of that. Well, even though uh, they don't have the palate that we have because they are, don't have the experience that we have with food, for sure, they can recognize that. Imagine yourself that uh, deal with food on an everyday basis, how immediately you can spot that difference that can change your plate from uh, A to Z. So uh, this is the kind of thing that we are bringing on with the USPCA. Um, uh, this is just a little part of uh, uh, the products that we have selected. Again, this is like a very embryo stage of this project, but at the same time, we decided to come out because we wanted to start getting your feedback and, and start getting in your suggestions and see what you feel about this new um, project that we're bringing along. Also because being something exclusive and being something unique and only dedicated for the personal chef association, uh, also the pricing is a little bit uh, favorable, let's put it that way. Uh, so now I'm not going to go in details on, in this also because uh, um, you can, uh, you can uh, <clears throat> eventually ask Larry uh, once uh, he has everything lined up. Uh, 
is not an easy thing. It, <coughs> excuse me, it's not an easy thing to um, bring because you can imagine uh, what kind of things that are involved, uh, distributors, non-distributors, papers, uh, bureaucracy in Italy, that is like, wow, amazing. Uh, if you go to uh, uh, Calabria, which is where this organic olive oil is made, which is monocultivar, and by the way, let me tell you, it's like uh, amazing. They just, it just won the first medal uh, as the olive oil uh, with the best fruity taste in the light, category which means that is a light olive oil it's very fruity because all the little place that where these olives are taken are surrounded by vineyards and uh, peach uh, trees and so you just get this uh, nice uh, flowery and peach uh, uh, flavorish and it was uh, awarded and it's completely completely organic so uh, this olive oil for example it's going through so many different kind of labeling just because the same kind of labeling that we have in Italy must be reflected in the United States, but the communication must be a little bit more quick. And so that's why they had to redo the labels and a lot of other producers had to adapt to this kind of a system just so that the market can also accept that. And, and we are um, getting ready in these days to do it. As a matter of fact, some of the products are already in the United States. Another things that I like to tell you guys is the fact that whoever may be interested from the moment that Larry uh, goes um, and, and open up the markets to everybody, not only you can purchase these online and you can go in your own uh, um, profile inside the website and you will be able to purchase this uh, with a uh, personal chef discount, of course, uh, but you will also um, be able to uh, buy it and receive it. I'm not saying in Amazon time, but uh, in about a couple of days for sure, because everything is already in stock in United States. And this is very important. The USPCA's most dif difficult part was the one that the, the fact to that we actually had to give to you the chance to uh, take advantage 100% of this opportunity and not just limited it to, yeah, let me buy a case and then we'll see. No, if you want something, even one jar, you can get that just because you have that particular meal and, and you want to do that particular plate. Well, the USPCA is there to satisfy your needs and to let you have the product that you you need so you can complete your menu and let you create your dishes the way you wanted it. Um, I see we so have a I, questions. Yeah, I'm video. here. Um, Chef Walter, um, I don't know the full answer to when it will be available, but from my understanding with Larry, it should be shortly. It's, it's like I said, there's some more hoops we have to jump through to solidify. Um, I would say, I would say, now. let's give us, give us uh, another 20 days or so, and we should be 20 days and a month, no more than a month, but we should be uh, already uh, pr prepared. As I said already, some of the products are already uh, coming in. Unfortunately, COVID is delaying, not only as increased pricing of transportation, but it's also delaying a few other things. So um, it's not just because of the uh, our part of the organization, but it's also because unfortunately, producers have a little hard time finding a free spot inside a container to put their goods in. And then Chef Lynn would, um, so you would say your food is cleaner um, with the way it's made. Cleaner, um, I would say it's definitely healthier. That is for sure. Um, you have probably the highest number of phenomal that you can find in an olive oil, for example, or you have uh, the highest percentage of real truffle inside the truffle sauce, and that gives you the maximum flavor of a true real truffle. So these kind of, or the limoncello jelly, for example, that comes from the lemon of Sorrento, which is like uh, the the, the, the capital of lemons here in Italy. And, and it's like a very juicy, very tasty lemon. Uh, so um, I wouldn't, I don't know if you met, when you say cleaner, you meant this kind of uh, things that I'm describing, but yeah, so that's- uh, um, Less byproducts, less chemicals. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely less chemicals. Yes, an organic product cannot have any chemicals, otherwise it will not be organic. Uh, plus consider that, uh, in Italy, as I was saying before, we have uh, the probably the the most strict rules out of all Europe 
or even the world, if we say, because even compared to the United States, some of the rules that we have in, in what kind of uh, um, uh, um, things to throw in the field to, to grow crops or uh, to feed the, the chicken or how to, to feed or bu butcher uh, pigs or rather than uh, cows or, or lambs or whatever, uh, they're very, very strict. To consider, uh, to give you an example, uh, we do not import meat from uh, uh, Germany. Uh, only selected meat from Germany are imported because they are uh, they use techniques uh, uh, to feed their pigs uh, uh, that Italian law doesn't allow. So uh, going back to your question, um, it's definitely healthier because it's clean uh, of, of these uh, things that yes are chemicals or or not proper way uh, to uh, grow an animal or a crop. Yes, anybody else has any other questions? I'm answering one of them. Uh, <laughs> yes, the, it's, it, Walter, is the catalog available? Yes, the catalog, it's uh, coming up. What you saw just now, it's actually part of the catalog that we're putting together. So yes, uh, uh, everything is coming along. Everything is really coming along. And I, and I really feel uh, glad that you, you guys are giving us this uh, great feedback. And I encourage m uh, m most of you to uh, give us your opinion and uh, what you think about this initiative, because I think it's just a great initiative to, um, uh, again, uh, give us the chance to uh, uh, give some uniqueness uh, uh, to our service uh, on top of what our cuisine already is unique. So, you know, it will just be uh, something else to talk to our clients and, uh, and, and give us some more uh, things to, um, to impress them with. Um, will you have samples at the conference? Yes, absolutely. Oh, Not so. only will have sample at the conference, but uh, in case uh, anybody of you with limited selection I do have already some samples in the States uh, of some products, not all of them, uh, but <clears throat> I will try to, uh, again, uh, it, it's a kind of a first come first serve kind of things. I'm telling you because I mean, samples are, are not easy to come by these days, uh, but um, for whoever uh, would like to taste some, I will be more than glad to send you some. And uh, yes, I will have all the samples uh, in, um, in Sarasota in July, absolutely. And I think I would, if you don't mind, I would say if, you, if, if you would like some samples, <laughs> I would ask that you email me <laughs> and I will commu and Larry will, will communicate with Chef Atelio so we do not blow up his email okay. box. And that way we can get through them and we know who is here. You know that I'm coming to Florida. You know that I'm coming to Florida next Monday, right? Yeah, well, so. <laughs> you pass you I'm sorry pass. I don't have any space on my luggage for anybody. So please do not anybody ask me to uh, put anything on my luggage. It's already been filled. <laughs> but yeah, you guys go ahead and bounce me a request to a pca.com. I will communicate with Chef Atelier. Absolutely. Um, yes. And <clears throat> Some samples. But I again, agree, Chef Susan, I'm all about the limoncello, the limoncello jellies. Yes, absolutely. And I just actually ran out of balsamic from Modena, so I'm just really excited. Um, I'll toss it back. So the catalogs will be sending to all the millimeters. Do we have to request one? My guess is Chef Walter. I'm not sure about print, especially these days. <laughs> um, but we will definitely have electronic via the member portal. So it will be ac there will be access to it some way. So no, you, you won't have to request it. We will make sure that everybody has a copy. If we do print, I don't know that, or has access to it. I, th I, I think that probably uh, it's something that Larry will discuss, but probably to make things a little faster in the beginning, a digital copy that you can download uh, in your section of the uh, website would be the uh, most uh, fast thing to get. Uh, also, because uh, in the beginning, we may have even more products to add on. So, you know, you also consider printing one and then you have to uh, print like a little insert to put on top because we edit in products. So probably it's better to just update the digital one. And, uh, and of course, uh, um, you will be i'm sure that the, the there will be a notice uh, every time that we have uh, an addition or any kind of new things to to, to inform you regarding the emails the are coming in for samples thank you everybody <laughs> <laughs> 
Awesome members, yes. Um, I will let you continue, Chef Atilio. Um, any other, you know, feel free to ask any questions, everybody. We, we've still got plenty of time. Yes, we do have plenty of time. And, and I really would like to do this Q&A with you guys and ask me anything. Um, I, I mean, again, what you saw there, there's like a little small selection. So you have any special requests that you have anything that you may be interested in. Um, we will see if we can uh, uh, find it and if we find a suitable um, um, producer for it and, and, and especially something that uh, uh, can be exported. Uh, but we will definitely see if we can uh, satisfy your requests again all of these products that you see i'm sure that you can all agree that it's not just uh, um uh, oh yeah of course melissa yes absolutely uh it, it's a matter of fact you have just anticipated me melissa because uh, um i will uh, do a webinar it's, um, i'm coming to the united states uh, uh with uh, um to, to meet also with larry and we're going to be organizing a little webinar where i, I will actually be showing maybe a couple uh that i i will be using a couple just so that i will not keep you guys too long and uh, uh we will we will cook together if you guys like uh, something uh, so yes um any anything that uh, uh it may help you to understand and then also to uh, taste these products uh, is absolutely um uh, available for you no problem um as i was saying um i forgot uh the catalogs uh okay okay uh, as far as the recipes um again uh, some of you um, cook for uh, vegetarian, vegan people or intolerance of any sort. Um, or maybe uh, you don't never cooked Italian before and because you like uh, ethnic food or you like Asian food uh, and you, that's your specialty. Okay, well, this is the message that I as an Italian would like to send to you, which is Italian products can be used also for other Kind of cooking and the uspca is telling you yes this is true and on top of that i can certify this product for you because it's absolutely top notch and if we decided to invest in this product uh, we will we definitely are sure that uh, you're going to be satisfied with it so uh to me this is like the key of this whole project that is going on and and i have never seen any other kind of association not even in italy i have to be honest with you uh the personal chef and the professional chef association have this kind of initiative uh maybe because we have a lot of producers in italy so maybe the personal chef can actually uh go in the factories on their own i don't know the fact is that they, 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 they can do the same thing that you guys can do. And uh, uh, just like we were saying earlier with, with the local farmers and stuff. But the thing is, um, even though uh, you have your farmers, even though you have your ways, even though you have everything, they got to be that one particular thing that you say, hmm, this is a little better than what I can find here. And it just give me that little edge uh, to uh, decorate or to finish and the famous cherry on top of that dish that I'm making. So so this is uh, what we hope to feel. And one very important thing that I'd like to ask you, I am definitely would like to say, please let me know what you think about this initiative. If there is any other ideas that you may have to improve this initiative that we're having, uh, um, our ears are open. Uh, there's nothing better than to actually uh, make the team by what the actual team uh, will suggest to you. So uh, the SPCA with me are sticking up our neck to say, hey, let's do this and, and let's promote this and let's uh, uh, not focus on uh, as much as selling the products, as much as giving all the members of the SBCA a chance to outstand themselves toward their clients and diversify themselves from all the other chefs uh, that there's plenty, uh, especially the world of personal chefs. We know that not all of us uh, uh, come from, uh, not the, the one that call themselves chefs come from uh, a restaurant background. So uh, sometimes we find people, uh, they are our competitor and they ask less money for us, the same kind of a service that we may offer. And uh, um, they, 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 they can, you know, uh, 
it, it kind of stinks. But at the same time, uh, I believe that with this kind of particular project, it will also give you an extra um, motive, an extra card to play with your clients in the moment that you're going to say, yes, okay, listen, I may be X amount more than uh, anybody else, but look at what I'm bringing to you. I mean, this is top quality time. And you don't find this in any other supermarket. This is exclusive to me. This is exclusive to us. This is all certified. I'm bringing you something that you can only have to go to Italy to uh, or to whatever to, uh, to eat it. You definitely can find it here. And this is yeah. a good selling point. Yes. Yeah, I see a couple comments here. And Chef Lynn's excited. That's good. She's a chef instructor, so she can't wait to incorporate your products in our classes Thank and you. the history Thank of the you. products. I think it's awesome. Chef Walter is buying dining parties. He wants to know if there's any particular product you can recommend to him. Okay, um, fine dining. Depending on your menu, if it's based on meat or fish, um, I definitely would go with something uh, that has a, a little particular taste. So probably uh, with something with truffle. But again, uh, if you like, you can DM me uh, or you can uh, write me an email or something uh, with a little bit more. Um, oh, surf and turf. Yes, uh, you can definitely do that. Um, it's uh, uh, it's just a uh, um, shrimps and all kinds of fish that you can find in Florida. It's actually amazing uh, with a little bit of uh, that truffle sauce. <laughs> I know that because uh, I have cooked some uh, uh, at Christmas time when I was in my sister uh, in Jacksonville and uh, I, I went and bought some uh, fresh shrimps and I had my truffle sauce with me and we made a surf and turf with that and I put it on top of a uh, uh, kind of a crunchy little um, uh, patty that res resembles a little the hash brown and uh, so you had this crunchiness of the um, um, potato, but then you have the softness uh, and the sweetness uh, of the shrimp. But then again, as soon as you put everything in your mouth, uh, the truffle would just uh, married all these three flavors and, uh, and uh, consistencies of the food. And it was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Is um, here Chef Angela. Um... Chef Angela, yes. Yeah, she's here. Ciao, we're Angela. Some other, maybe some, some other products there that... Uh... Angela, I'm very happy that you asked me about the Tosca Marene because uh, I don't have the Tosca Marene, but uh, we are already, it's a matter of that, a fact, uh, I can also tell you this in exclusive, uh, because we closed with uh, a, um, a um, competitor of Tosca, which is, and I'm showing it to you right now, there he is. There is okay. It's opening. Um, it's another company that is very, very famous in Italy. It's like super, super historical company, uh, and uh, they've been doing uh, uh, the amarena, which is like one of the uh, nice things to put on um, the ice creams or, uh, or the cakes uh, or things like that. And it's a uh, very, very good. Um, okay. If my file opens uh, in one second, please. Uh, there he is. I will share my screen with you so you can see what I am describing to you. Okay, there he is, okay. And the company is Fabri. Fabri, I'm sure you found uh, the Fabri in the United States before, uh, especially because since the 1960s, they've been very famous with their jars. They have a uh, very particular jars uh, and uh, um, I don't know why it won't open. Oh, there he is. Okay. There he is. Okay. Now let me share the screen with you. There he is. Okay. So this is a pro just look at the look at the jars. See, these jars are all made out of uh, clay, actually ceramic, and they're very, very famous. Uh, it's like one of the most famous things that we have. And they make all kinds of amarena, all kinds of different juices, but especially they make uh, um, things to do uh, gelato products. So you can make your own ice cream. And no matter if it's gluten-free, kosher, vegan, dairy kosher, 
we got it all. And of course, you have all the compounds concentration and uh, all of these things. As you can see, the size is uh, already like three pounds, uh, four pounds. Uh, uh, so they're like uh, uh, wholesale uh, sizes, just so that uh, they're meant for us uh, uh, operators to, to work with. But they're absolutely nice. They're really outstanding. Uh, they're really beautiful. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, Angela was uh, um, <laughs> satisfy it anyway, even if he was in Tosca, uh, but he was uh, <clears throat> Fabri. You mentioned that the olive oil in Calabria has fruity character due to peach orchard in the region. Are there other olive oils in the region that you can think that? Yes. Um, Please consider that Italy has more than 1,200 different kind of monocultivar olive oil. As I move from one hill of Sicily to another, it's a different kind of olive oil. Now, to choose the right olive, uh, olive oils, uh, you must go uh, and, and really find not only the right uh, uh, meal, but you can also have to find the meal that can supply uh, a request and has the money to invest in getting all the certification and everything else, which I promise you, uh, the FDA approval, it's not something that it's uh, uh, cheap. Uh, uh, and especially of these days, uh, people, you know, kind of saying, yeah, maybe I'll export it next year. I found a lot of those, uh, they replied to me. So I did find three other, uh, two other uh, olive oil. One is from Liguria which is uh, the region where I showed you uh, in the map where they make pesto. And the other one is from Basilicata. The Basilicata is a tiny little region between the Puglia and the Calabria. So where you have the foot of the boot and the hill, right there in the middle, this tiny little region, it's called Basilicata, which is a very famous, considering the Basilicata also has almost 50% of the uh, truffle uh, that we have in Italy, uh, because in Alba, it's all gone. So <laughs> we, we also get the white truffle from Basilicata, but one of the best thing they do, because there is also like mountains, that are like up to uh, about 4,000 feet, uh, you have fantastic olive oil. So I have these three olive oils, they are all three organic. They're all three uh, absolutely amazing, but they taste and look completely different. One, it's a little darker. One, it's a little clearer. One, it's a little um, velvety. Uh, one, it's a little more uh, pungent, uh, but yet they can accompany any kind of thing. One can be used for the salad as much as one um, a crude drop of olive oil on a dish of pasta, for example, or, or a nice fillet of fish. So all of these things can absolutely uh, be used. And I, I'm, I'm closing up with these producers. Uh, I'm going to um, Basilicata as soon as I uh, come back from the United States. So um, we are absolutely in the right direction in choosing uh, the products. So um, I hope I, uh, I answer your question, Kadia. Uh, how about dairy products? Butter, a cheese, some Welcome cheeses. Mama. That's, uh, I'm sorry? I said, said the, the, the buffalo moths. Yes. Uh, the, um, it's very hard to uh, export a dairy product for all kinds of reasons that goes from uh, uh, the, the packaging, the temperature, the, 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 the expiration, uh, and, and especially the uh, temperature and the humidity. Uh, it's not uh, something that I strongly suggest. Uh, usually when you're going to, I have to be frank with you guys, when you go in a restaurant, even the, uh, a, a three a Michelin star uh, restaurant, and they say, I have a mozzarella di bufala fresh from Italy, I promise you that if you cut that mozzarella di bufala, it's not going to be as juicy and as flavored as the one that I buy here in the supermarket. Okay, that's because humidity and the timing of consumption are critical, especially in a dairy product. And plus the FDA is very, very, very rigid. So uh, I don't know if there's going to be uh, some dairy products. One thing for sure though, I am talking to the Parmigiano Reggiano Consortium. I, know, I met the president, he's a beautiful person. Uh, we are um, closing a, a, some sort of a partnership together. So one thing is that through the consortium, which unites a, a lot of different kind of producers, we may be able to get uh, some uh, 
true original Parmigiano Reggiano with different kind of ages, 12, 16, 24 months, 48 months, 36, depends. So we are working on that because Parmigiano Reggiano, guys, is something that I have right here. In my heart, I'm not going to take my jacket off, but I have a tattoo, Parmigiano Reggiano, because, I mean, it's like the, the, the king of the king of the cheeses. Uh, and that we can export. And Parmigiano Reggiano, we know already that they have the FDA and all that kind of a thing. So uh, that is like going to be a little easier, <coughs> excuse me, a little easier um, to actually uh, get rather than uh, uh, dairy products like butter or mozzarella. Plus, I have to say, I, in, when I was in Miami, I was doing a personal chef in Miami. There are a lot of people, a lot, a lot of restaurants in Miami, they're making their own mozzarella. And I have to say, it wasn't bad. Of course, the milk is different. The cow is different. The, the grass that the cow graze is different. But the process and the technique and everything else was actually good. And it, it, it felt good to eat a good fresh mozzarella. So, you know, there, there, there's also nice people in the United States that are doing this. Any other questions? Uh, I don't see any. Um, Chef Angela, you made my day. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. I mean, <clears throat> I know that Angela is Italian, and I have to say that uh, as an Italian, I feel very, very good in uh, saying this, that... Uh, um, um, it, you know, all this project is also to break this kind of a, a kind of a, a, a weird tradition that Italian food has uh, Italian ingredients and this and that. No, Italian ingredients can be used for any kind of food, any kind of things. I mean, um, it, it's just uh, amazing what you can do. And, and we just have to use the right ingredients, the right amount, find the right balances. And I believe that with the use of good ingredients, regardless of where you're buying them from, but you can use fantastic, fresh, seasoned ingredients, you will be able to find the perfect balance on your plates and that consistency that will absolutely make your client appreciate what you're uh, giving it to eat. So all of this is just to increase the, the, the fact that you can uh, uh, give to your clients uh, much more uh, to talk about you uh, because we need them. We need them as uh, our daily bread to give us advertising. Nothing is better than, you know, the pass on the words. So how many clients did you guys get from a friend of a friend that you went to cook with? Everybody did. We live out of that, okay? So <clears throat> what that it is to say, listen, I'm going to let you taste this tonight. I'm going to let you taste this tonight because this comes from here. This comes from there. Of course, besides all the tasting and besides anything else, I'll be always at your disposal for any kind of information that you need. If you want a little bit more story on, on a particular product, no matter if it's balsamic or parmigiano or olive oil or the limoncello jelly, I definitely can give you all the information that you want. Uh, consider another thing, even because Italians are so strict in products, the Calabria olive oil, as well as some of the other products, but especially the Calabria olive oil, which is an organic olive oil and has much more uh, attention to uh, the contaminations. It has a QR code with a blockchain. So with the QR code, you can actually follow each step of that olive that was worked with from the moment that it was picked up from the tree until the moment that it became that fantastic olive oil that it is. So uh, it tells you how long that it stayed inside the, the uh, silos, the stainless steel steels, and, and how long it stayed in the bottle, uh, just so that it can also tell you um, the, the true things about expiration dates and all kinds of information that you can have uh, uh, about all these products. And you must have that. You as chef must have that. We cannot think the consumer will just uh, imagine all this because they have all kinds of other things in their head. They have all kinds of other worries and thoughts and, and, and they cannot just lose time in getting this information at the supermarket where they go by. It's our job, and this is my opinion, of course, it's our job to actually educate our client. Why did they choose you? Because 
they want something special. They want something unique. They're not just lazy because they want to stay in their home. They want something unique, something that will make them feel like they're like in a Michelin star uh, a restaurant. And that's what you're going to give to them, regardless of the decoration on the plate that you made. They are absolutely wonderful. You give them, bam, that little taste with the story behind. And, and, and as they eat that, I promise you, they have the words of their story in their head and they're imagining all these kind of things. And they're living that moment, the true experience, no matter where your plate took them. If it's in Singapore, if it's in Beijing, if it's in Thailand, if it's in Australia or in Texas or in Rome, it doesn't matter the kind of food, as long as you have the kind of a storytelling that will improve them. And I see that uh, um, probably my time is up, so I'll be quiet. Angela, I want to get to one more question here. Um, yes. I would like to know if we can provide a badge that they can use to mention um, on their websites and their social that they're using these unique Product. That is absolutely a fantastic idea. I uh, totally, I totally um, uh, pass that along uh, to Larry. We will definitely find a way uh, that, that, that these kind of products can be recognized and um, um, from every CCC. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you, Chef Atilio. This is exciting. Thank you, guys. Thank I you. Was, I was just an attendee, but Larry had a had um, appointment, so I, I'm so excited. Um, thank you for everybody for attending um, to our awesome, fantastic members. Again, um, Chef Shirley loved the chapter idea. We'll definitely be sharing that, the badge idea. Um, we'll be getting this to you as soon as it is complete, which should be, as Chef Atelier said, in about 30 days. Again, yeah. Um, yeah. if you're interested in samples, suggestions, a prather at uspca.com or l lynch at uspca.com or b liker at uspca.com and uh we will get you the answer and we'll get, get in touch with chef Atilio. thank so you so everybody much have a fantastic evening and thank you i'll let you end i'll let you put the end to it chef Atilio. Oh, I just wanted to thank you uh, for listening to me, for, for uh, the great uh, comments that you have. And uh, um, I, I, I'm just very overwhelmed for the fact that uh, you guys have seen this initiative so positively. And it was like really what we aim and what we were shooting for when Larry and I came up with this idea. So thank you very much for your support. Uh, and I know uh, they will be even greater uh, later on uh, as uh, we start physically uh, with this uh, uh, machine machine and uh, moving on the machine. So uh, Attilio is from Milan, Italy, says uh, a good night to y'all or have a good evening. Uh, I will definitely uh, see y'all again. Uh, uh, thank you again for attending and uh, thank you very much for your attention and everybody else. Ciao, 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 ciao. Good night, ciao. Good night everybody. Thank ciao, you. Ciao.